Welcome back to the lab. It's been some time, but we're back with a quite an interesting project because we're going to be making some organometallic ruthenium compounds, specifically the p-symine ruthenium dichloride dimer, as you can see here. And after that, we're going to be using it to make some more organometallic ruthenium compounds. So here I have the triphenylphosphine compound right here, and then this is the diiodo compound, which is the same structure basically, both iodine. So, it's a pretty simple synthesis. All you need is your ruthenium trichloride, some alpha terpenine or phalandrine, and some ethanol. Today I have an extra set of hands to help me in the lab, and we're going to get started. For the synthesis, we're going to be using 2 grams of ruthenium trichloride, 9.2 milliliters of the alpha terpenine, and then 80 mils of ethanol, 95%. So what I'm going to do is dissolve the ruthenium trichloride in the ethanol. Just make sure all that's added. And then we're going to heat that up to reflux on a hot plate. So I'm going to turn on stirring. Not that much, but there we go. And now I'm going to add the alpha terpenine. And then put the reflux condenser on top of that. So now I'm going to turn the heating on so that we can bring the solution up to reflux and I have a condenser attached to that and we will leave this to reflux for 24 hours. It's quite a long reflux but it doesn't really have to be monitored. You might have to top off the ethanol from time to time if some of the, the volume is decreasing but other than that it's good to run on its own. I've gotten new cupboards installed in the lab, which pretty much doubles the amount of workspace that I had. So now I can run pretty much double the amount of experiments that I had previously. And I also have all this new storage space in the cupboards, so I can put all my glassware in here. That's great. Instead of just having it like all spilled out on the tables over there. And yeah, lab's improving, getting stuff done. The mixture is now refluxing nicely, and this is pretty much how it will remain for the next 24 hours. It's been three hours, and the solution has taken on a very deep, dark red color. And the reflux is still going well. Twenty-four hours has elapsed, so now it's time to turn off the heating and stop refluxing the mixture. So now that it's transferred to the beaker, we are going to reduce the volume to one-third of what it currently is, which is about 90 mils, 10 mils of the alpha terpene, and 80 mils of ethanol. So we'll bring it down to 30 mils, just by boiling off the ethanol. And then we will move on from there. So I'll turn the heating back on and the stirring. And I'll position a fan blowing onto it so that we get a nice fast evaporation. The solution is boiled down to 30 mils, so now it's time to crystallize out the product by putting it in the freezer overnight. 
So after leaving the product in the freezer overnight, I gravity filtered it and then washed it twice with 10 milliliter portions of diethyl ether. And now I will be placing it on paper towel to let the ether evaporate and fully dry. After drying, the yield has come out to be 1,922 milligrams. So now what I'm going to do is add this 400 milligrams here, and then I'm going to recrystallize it from ethanol and try to grow some even larger crystals than what I have here. Alright, I have a 50 mil beaker with a stir bar in it, and I've added the P-Symine ruthenium dichloride dimer to it. And now I'm going to start by adding 30 milliliters of ethanol and get that heating and stirring and we'll get that dissolved up. Everything is now dissolved so I will let the solution boil down to 45 milliliters and then I will saran wrap it and put an elastic band around it and put it in the crystallizer. So now I'm putting this in the crystallizer, which is basically just a big foam block. There's some aluminum foil on the inside, and I'm just packing it down. This will make the heat disperse more slowly, and the crystals will have a longer time to form, which will make them larger. So I'll leave this probably for around four hours, and then I will transfer it to the fridge where I'll let it cool down farther, and then to the freezer where I will let it sit overnight once again. After the recrystallization, we have collected just over 2 grams of sparkling dark red crystals. Now there's still some product left in the supernatant liquid, which I will allow to evaporate and I will recover that, so not to waste any ruthenium. So that is the conclusion on how you can make some P-Symine Ruthenium Dichloride Dimer. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.